In any Canadian city, finding street parking can be a headache. In downtown Toronto, it's becoming common to see parked cars with an accessible parking permit. CBC News has learned the number of permits issued in the city has jumped more than 60% in the past five years. Our senior investigative reporter, Diana Swain, recently rode along with the unit trying to keep the permits in the hands of those who need them. There's just 13 cars on the street right now with, with handicap permits. Kirsten Edgerton knows at least some of those accessible parking permits are either bogus or borrowed. She's part of a Toronto parking unit trying to make sure the permits are used by those who need them. Nobody wants to pay for parking when it's, if they can get it for free. Toronto is the only major city in the country where using one of these permits means parking almost anywhere you want for as long as you want for free. It can be tempting for some to use someone else's permit. And she's been at home all day? Yes. Why did you choose to park here? Super busy and super cool. Losing a permit means having to apply to, to get it back and often a fine. Who's the permit holder? It's my mom. Where's your mom right now? I'm waiting for her at the hospital. She's at the sick kids hospital. Your mother has to be here entering, exiting this vehicle. Okay. The fact that you're parked here, adjacent to your employment, you attended work today, your mom's been at a hospital for nine hours. 800 permits were taken back last year alone. Some don't Sir? take the news well. Sir, hi, how are you? Can I just see this permit on the dashboard, please? This driver claims the permit belongs to the woman with him. According to Edgerton's information, it belongs to someone much older. So I'm going to give you a parking ticket because you're not being granted exemption to park? I the car here. What are you telling me? I didn't even park the car. Are you out of your mind? No, sir. What I observed was this you parked the vehicle and it's exited the vehicle. Are you kidding me? It doesn't cost anything to get a permit so long as a health care worker is willing to endorse it. But it can be worth a lot. Downtown parking can cost $30 a day or more. Over the course of a year, that's thousands of dollars. And as we witness, some people will do anything not to get caught. Sir, no, you need to stop the car right now. It's an offense in the Highway Traffic Act to stop. DLU 83 for a priority, please. I have a Duncan going southbound on Duncan at Adelaide, the mail refusing a permit to me. That sort of thing happens? Yes. You're kidding. I was driving. I... Comment. Comment. But I'm not going to put myself in a, in a, in a space to, to get injured or, or hurt. All of the people issued tickets will have their day in court. As to why the number of permits has skyrocketed in Toronto, the provincial office that hands them out says it may be due to an aging population or more cars on the road. But the numbers suggest some drivers are willing to find a way to game the system at the expense of those who really need the permits. Diana Swain, CBC News, Toronto. As Diana mentioned, permit holders in Toronto have access to unlimited free street parking in most places. But the rules vary in the rest of the country. For example, in Montreal, Winnipeg, Calgary and Vancouver, permit holders must pay like everybody else, but there are designated accessible spaces. In Edmonton and Ottawa, there is free parking at meters, but with a time limit. 